friends of the media. On behalf of the DIPR, I invite all, I uh, welcome all of you here to the press briefing today. The format of the press briefing would be opening remarks by the additional chief secretary, followed by a brief interaction. Sir. Thank you. Thanks. This uh, is a briefing which has been organized with regard to implementation of Jaldi One Mission in JNK. Uh, there have been a lot of uh, news with regard to Jaldi One Mission in the papers for some time being now. And in particular, it has been mentioned that uh, an amount of 13,000 crore rupees involved. While I will go into details of the implementation of JJM in JNK, I would like to uh, right in the beginning point out that while 13,000 crore is being alleged, the actual expenditure which has taken place under the mission is 3,000 crores, 3,088, 3,100 crores approximately to be precise. And out of this, about 2500 crore has been spent in the last one year, since August 2022. So it is for you uh, to judge yourself what would be the level of truth in such kind of allegations. More importantly, since 2019, there has been a sea change in the manner in which the execution of works has been taking place in JNK. There is absolutely strict adherence to the GFR provisions. And the GFR provisions require that there has to be absolutely transparent process of bidding and allotments. And this is being followed by the Jal Shakti Department. Most of you would be aware that before these directions, departmental execution was the norm in the PhD department. But since 2019, and particularly coming to the Jaljib mission, I would like to state specifically that not even a single allotment of works or procurement of any of the pipe material has been done without tendering. More importantly, it is not tendering by simply publishing it in the newspapers, but e-tendering. And this e-tendering has been done through the public portal. The ENITs are always uploaded on the NIC portal and every allotment has been made after following the due process of e-tendering. It is February 19 when the e-tendering was directed to be implemented all across the UT and Jaljian Mission has also followed the same. I would also like to inform all of you that every allotment order which has been made and there are about 6600 for the ease of the public to access these allotment orders, they have been arranged district wise within the district, the division. For example, some districts do have more than one division and within the division as per the water supply scheme, because in some cases a water supply scheme or any other malefide which is there, any allotments which have, might have been done. And I am happy to inform you that not even a single complaint has come where anybody in a manner which is not transparent. These things, let me tell you, are going to get addressed in due course of time as and when the schemes get complete. Water quality is 5 minute. The important part is not made of 18.31 and there are 6600. Uh, uh, we had made the arrangements for funds are allotted by the UT as part of the 10% share which is in addition. The water quality monitoring is done by the women pipe material. 